When I was in the fifth grade, I knew a kid named Javier. He was black, which was confusing. He was an African-American kid who spoke Spanish, loved country music, wore cowboy boots, played jump rope, and had a look on his face that said, I wish a motherfucker would say something. None of us said anything. For so and tell, he brings in his pet chameleon. When he walks in, the eyes of every kid glaze over like the windows to our souls, shook hands with the winter for the first time. A girl with box springs in her throat felt the silence was just too heavy for her fingertips to hold on to any longer. Drops the quiet like a suitcase full of habits that no one wants to keep and says, so what's his name? He replies, I call him Rudy. When the class realized that me and the lizard had the same name, they laughed uncontrollably. 20 years later, the irony hits me over the head like an empty Heineken bottle inside of the bar fight that I call my everyday life. I get it. You see, chameleons, they have the ability to paintbrush themselves into whatever will match their surroundings. They do it so often, they probably wouldn't be able to recognize a photograph of their own skin. They think it's far better to be invisible than it is to grind their teeth into I dare you and ride their bones like a magic carpet. No steering wheel, no tires, no brakes, no battery, just bravery, just faith in a chest full of I am not dying today. Courage has never been a chameleon's best attribute and some days it's not mine either I was mentored by black men with brown skin who turned yellow at the sight of swollen bellies filled with half their DNA I was taught that a woman's vagina is just an underground railroad to masculinity that real men have tunnel vision and treat girls like subway cars like nothing more than a space to parallel park our genitals a hole to bury seeds and leave orchards in our rearview mirrors they say they say you gotta peel a woman like a tangerine and your job as a man is to chameleon yourself into her trees by the piece of a fruit then leave the rats hanging crooked and confused this is an apology to every woman that I changed colors to get inside of you see I still haven't stumbled across the definition of man but I know that we are hotels that stand a million war stories tall I know that we carry guitar cases full of phobias, hoping that we can turn fear into our strongest instrument I know that our hands break things just as frequent as we fix them and we often forget that sexism is a family heirloom that we've been passing down for generations. As men, it's important that we start asking ourselves, what will the boys learn from us? <laughs>